Hello, sweet souls. This is your Sunday reading. This will be a full length reading on YouTube. You can go um, on Tasha's Divine Guidance under YouTube and watch the full length when I'm finished downloading it. Um, I do have June specials for readings. If you're interested, you can text me. My number's in the bio and I'll forward the information. Also, um, don't forget about my free reading giveaway mid-month and end of month. Uh, you have to subscribe, like, and comment on my videos on YouTube. So I'm going to get started on your reading. So the first thing I got is you guys are starting to see life in a different perspective. Your life, specifically. Um, you're starting to see your abilities, what it is you can do in your life. And this is in regards to following your own dreams and passions. So in the past, you didn't feel like it was possible for you to follow your dreams. You just, because of all the things that were said to you that were negative in nature, you lost that, that confidence in yourself. But you're showing up as the king of swords. This is the masculine energy that you're embracing, whether you're a man or a woman, finally standing in your truth, in your power, um, knowing your value and cutting away people that aren't in alignment with you, that don't deserve your time or your energy. Um, this is bringing in a soulmate, a soulmate that is going to help with healing. And this is also a wish fulfillment. You're going to have truth and clarity moving forward about your life, your life purpose, about things that happen to you, why they happen to you. Um, you also have this overabundance of love. And I feel this is self-love. This is you finally being in love with yourself. And it took a while. You had to go in hermit mode to, because of the past, you had to go in hermit mode to realize that love starts from within you, that you had to truly love you um, to be able to expect the love you deserve from another. And that's amazing, guys. You have this twin flame soulmate union coming. This is an offer, a love offer that's coming. It is divinely guided. It's divinely guided. This person is very passionate for you, very loving, very passionate for you. Um, this is gonna bring you complete happiness. You are moving away from your past that was filled with drama, conflict, breadcrumbing, where things in your past were unequal. Now you have positive forward movement away from this energy that didn't serve you, that wasn't in alignment with you. This love offer that's coming from this King of Cups is gonna happen out of the blue. Like it's gonna shock you because you'll be um, moving along, doing your thing, doing your healing, loving you, following your passions, and then all of a sudden, you get this love offer from a soulmate. And it's because you are raising your vibration. You are filling yourself with love, filling yourself with confidence, knowing who you are, and that's what brings in this offer. So you have been manifesting. This can be someone from the past, but this is a slow and steady energy. This is someone who, who plans things out. This isn't a quick in and out of your life type of energy. This is someone that uh, wants to be invested for the long haul. This person sees you as the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, this is the man or lady of luxury, being financially secure, grounded and stable, confident and proud, being alone but being okay with it, not needing validation from another person because this person knows who they are. They don't need anyone to validate them. This is the end of a cycle, a new beginning for you, okay? That brings peace, security, a contentment in your life that leads to marriage. This person will build with you. They will invest their time, their energy, their effort into the relationship. And you deserve that, okay? Let me see what else you guys got going on. Coming out of this victim uh, mentality where, you know, or you can focus on as what was done to you. You're coming out of that. You're, you're really focusing on your own financial security, holding on to your money, saving your money. Um, you're also coming out of this negative mindset where you have a lack mindset, where you think negative things will happen. This is amazing, guys. You are releasing this negative energy and focusing on your own financial security. this devil, this dark energy, you are blocking that energetically from this person trying to come back in. You are blocking this negative, dark narcissist from attempting to come back in, which is awesome. 
We don't need that energy in our life. Let God take care of that person. Yeah, because you have divine love coming and you know your worth. You love yourself. You know what you have to offer. This is a very empathetic card. This is someone who's intuitive that can listen with their heart and can understand um, what their intuition is telling them. This is a very intuitive card, very nurturing, loving, and empathetic. Um, this is bringing in this offer from this soulmate. You being in love with you, you listening to your intuition, setting boundaries, loving you, that's what's bringing in this stable offer, guys. You're dropping, oops, oops, so sorry, guys, I just dropped that. You're dropping the burden, this came in reverse, of the feeling of being left out in the cold, rejected, and abandoned. You know, the, the person that put you through that in the past, it was a blessing. It was a blessing because had it not happened, you would still be there, stuck in a loveless relationship. One that was not equal, that made you feel unworthy. You know it's a blessing now. You know your worth now, guys. So when this, well, let me get another card, guys. Hold on. Okay, so this was the soulmate. This was the karmic soulmate that you're with that left you feeling confused, trapped, confined, um, at a crossroads in your life that you walked away from because you listened to your intuition. Now, you, you are placing all your focus on building your own financial security and you are no longer letting this person, this karmic soulmate, affect you. You're not because they don't deserve any, any more of your power, any more of your energy, any more of your attention, time, or thought. Um, so that's amazing, guys. Yeah, it took a while. You had to heal from this rejection. This person, you know, rejecting the love that you gave them. And I just saw an orb. Did you guys see that? Um, you know, that, that really um, hurt your self-confidence. It hurt your heart. But you guys have been healing. And you know that that, that person was no reflection of who you truly are. But everything about who they truly are, which is dark. You will receive justice. This comes out all the time because the divine wants you to know no one goes without receiving justice. You will pay your karma. What, whatever you've done, good or bad, you will receive good or bad karma. It's universal law. It has nothing to do with God's forgiveness. God forgave you the moment you prayed and asked but you still have to pay for the karma. The scales still have to be balanced. Sorry, guys. The, this person that puts you through all this suffering is filled with such ang anxiety. They have no strength left in them because you are their wish fulfillment, and they know that now. They're filled with regret and anxiety. They see you as having the world. They see that everything that you do in your life is successful now without them. And uh, on the flip side, everything that they, that they have going on in their life isn't going so well. They know it's karma. Yeah. Unfulfilled wishes. Emotionally imbalanced. That's what, what's going on in their life. The wheel isn't turning in their favor. This came sideways. Um, you know, things are not going well for them. And you will get communication from them trying to rush in to tempt you with that wand energy. But guess what? You're in your sword's energy and you know who this person is. Manipulation lies don't work anymore. And you're going to cut them out. You won't be fooled anymore, okay? You're manifesting victory. A brand new beginning in your life. Um, you, will, you will have victory, okay? This is a brand new beginning that will create financial security, abundance. This is your good karma, okay? This past person, mm, they're filled with anxiety. They, they are suffering because of what they did to you. The pain they caused you, this ten of swords energy, is what they feel and they know they lost the empress. They'll never have you again and they know it. And this is causing them so much agony. They're heartbroken. 
they can't even have any kind of balance in their life because they don't love themselves because of who they are. This person had the Ten of Pentacles with you and they made you feel like an option. Put you in a third party situation, lied, deceived, kept secrets, now they're guarded. Now they try to defend themselves through lies and manipulation because they know they don't want anyone else to know what they did. It doesn't matter what they want. It's what God wants. Look, you are the queen of pentacles, grounded, stable, secure, emotionally uh, secure and stable, financially secure. This person is the page using their wand for manipulation. Want to come forward, give you some lame excuse, a lame apology, tell you they've changed it. They're stable now, but you have to put an end to it because it's a lie. It's all a lie. This is you. Pursuing your own passion, standing in your wand's energy, not worrying about what other people think of you because you know who you are and you know what it is you're driven to do. They do watch you. They are a narcissist. They are surrounded by people that talk about them, that use them, and they're still a deceiver, guys. You dodged a bullet. God saved you. It was a life sentence and you got pardoned right before death. That's what I see. So you need to look at it as a blessing. This person doesn't deserve your love. They are not at your level, not worthy. So you guys are doing amazing. I love you. I hope you have an amazing Sunday. Um, keep doing the healing work. Keep loving you. Uh, be proud of who you are. Be empowered. And um, I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.